Okay, this video is about my um, experiments with stepper motors. Um, I thought I'd try to make a wire bending machine. This seemed to be the simplest possible thing you could build. So, um, there's a stepper motor in this. So, um, let's first off see if we can get it to work. So, <coughs> this, is, this bit here is the, the bending end. I don't know why it comes through gets bent. This part here uh, propels the wire from right to left. The bearing holds it up against the the, the stepper motor um, chuck if you like. Um, and all of this here helps to tighten up the <coughs> the, the bearing. And this is a a wire straightener that sort of half works so word of warning um, this is just a, an exercise um, made out of scraps that I had around the place and bits of Meccano um, <clears throat> so it doesn't really work that well but I learned a lot um, it's driven by an Arduino underneath there and there's a a shield here which is a motor driver um, I'll put the circuits up um, online afterwards so I need both hands for this so we'll just put this in this handy holder first I'm going to see if I can thread the wire through so I've got this copper wire here um, it's nice and thick. That was my target. I wanted to be able to bend or make things out of fairly soft copper wire that could um, carry a current. So let's get the end out. Straighten and we're going to grab a piece. Grab a piece of copper wire just for demo purposes I'm going to cut it off because I don't need I don't need the whole thing so I'm going to ignore most of the wire bending because it's pretty straight so I'll just come in through the last cog here um, Use a plier to thread it through. So I'm using little tubes made out of a, a radio antenna. It's held together by bits of Meccano. The tube, it's obviously very dodgy. Um, I have to feed it through this tube until it gets close enough to the other end, to the, there it is, now it's come out at this end where the, the wire mover is. I can just push it I think, I'll just push it through. Is guided into this tube, which this tube feeds it in towards where the, the bending happens. Uh, it's um, difficult. As far as I can tell, the, the cheapest professional wire bending machine that you can buy is about 20,000 US dollars. So, the lesson I've learned from this is that. Um, if you want to build a wire bending machine that's even remotely competent, you need to have a machine shop, good tools, good precision tools, and um, plenty of time to perfect it.
That's hooked up somewhere. You can fast forward through this bit. Now, the wires come out this end here. I'll just leave it there. What I'm going to do is tighten up this here, which is uh, an Allen key that you can see that tightens up the, uh, the bearing underneath so that this thing can grip tightly. Now, this is actually made out of a potentiometer knob. <laughs> I couldn't find a, a really well made piece to go on top there, so it's got problems. Yo. So now we're going to use the Arduino. So this is the Arduino gear down here. There's a 12 volt power supply here, which actually drives the motors. There's two stepper motors. One, they're driven by the two um, ports on the, the board. So I'll just have to plug in the 5 volt supply to actually get the processor to start working. I'll plug that in here. And now you should be able to see it running. So you can see this is trying to move the wire forward. I'm giving it a hand, I know, I'm cheating. So this this program is basically just trying to make a, a semi a circular uh, bend. If everything's going well. Uh, you'll get a nice regular shape out of it. So a couple of things I've learned is firstly the whole surface around it, the wire bender needs to be as flat as possible and it shouldn't have all these jaggy bits because the wire catches on that when it comes around. And the other thing I've noticed is that the wire will get caught in the feed mechanism if it's not a good one and you can see it's not, it's it's stuck it's not feeding is it so I'm gonna tighten the feeder that's the other thing I've found is that this tension on the feeder needs should probably have a spring on it or something so that the feeder can always get a good grip on the wire. Um, this is the most critical part of the, the whole thing, I think, is that having a good feeder means that you can get the shapes built properly. Um, so having a, a fixed tension like that isn't really very good. You need to have a, a really good automated tensioning system. The other thing I've noticed is that the wire rotates randomly. Um, so I don't know how the professionals do it, but somehow you need to prevent this wire from rotating in the machine. Um, you see here it's now stuck again because it's <laughs> the mechanism isn't strong enough. Uh, to keep tension on the wire and keep keep pulling it through um, but the news is <clears throat> if you want to build anything like a wire bender you really have to spend a lot of time on the mechanics of it the stepper motor and the Arduino bit that takes almost no time at all um, so let's give it a bit more time until the wires run out Thank mm -hmm. you.
Oops. The other problem is um, this knob has a, a, has a, a grub screw here. Of course, when it goes over the wire, the, the whole of the grub screw means there's no grip at all. So, um, same for the slot in the front of it. Yeah, so making a wire bender isn't as simple as you might think, and it's all down to the mechanics. But as I say in videos, here's one I made earlier. <laughs> Uh, I've lost it now, but I, I did have a fairly good run at one point. But you can see that if you hold this up, you can see there is a, a, a regular um, circular thing happening with the bands. Alright, so let's look at the underside. I'm going to turn it off just so that I have peace of mind. So the underside really really simple and so there's the stepper motor that drives the um, the puller along the feeder um, there's a couple of, this is a pivot here there's a bolt there that holds the the ball bearing the, the bearing on there there's ball bearings in that and then this this is just a lever um, which levers it tight would have been better to have some kind of spring mechanism but yeah <clears throat> so underneath we have that stepper motor and then we have this stepper motor which has got a really terrible <laughs> Meccano setup um, you can see uh, this is a jury rigged um, chuck with a bit of Meccano magic to come out with two pins. Um, one tiny detail is in order to stop the wire catching on this these bolt heads. I've actually pit pot riveted the Meccano, um, which is actually great fun. Uh, Meccano and pot rivets, <laughs> match made in heaven. Um, yeah, so. The code is very straightforward. It just says um, rotate this 90 degrees, rotate it back, move forward 10, 10 millimeters, repeat, and that will get you a circular wire bend. Um, well, octagonal, I, I suppose. Right. Um, so the rest of the evidence will be down here so the two stepper motors come in here um, and the lesson I learned with the stepper motors is that you need to buzz out the connections because if you're just buying them off the internet the connections you might get a design it may actually may not actually match the connections that you think you're going to get um, so buzz them out um, ignore that circuit board, ignore that stepper, ignore the piezo. Um, and this is the uh, the fun the uh, Funduino board, which is a clone. Um, yeah, there's a previous video about that. I'll put the circuit up, um, and all this other stuff is just connections to. Uh, there's an ammeter here that shows the current. And that's pretty much it. Um, yeah, so a lesson learned is while wire bender might be the smallest possible useful, semi useful device I can think of to make for the stepper motor as an exercise, the fact is mechanically it's quite difficult and you need a good workshop to um, perfect it and you need to go through many iterations to make it work. Um, 
but it's a, it's a fun thing to try. Um, and I, I recommend everybody have a go. Um, these, by the way, this semi-failed <laughs> wire straightener is um, made from the wheels that you get on the bottom of aluminium doors. Um, so I've, they're good because they have a ball bearing in them, so they, they, they're quite loose, but um, they don't have a, a triangular V-shape in the middle, so I've had to bodge that with um, an electric drill and some saw blades. It sort of works, but this whole thing, this wire straightener itself, is quite a difficult thing to make and probably needs a lot of time unless you want to start using a 3D printer and copying designs off the net. <clears throat> but then, what fun would that be? Alright, that's probably enough. Thank you for your time, and happy wire bending.